All right, now it's time to combine index and match, functions that are usually found together, and together they are very powerful. Let's see. In this worksheet, we want to find out the zip code for this certain location, San Jose. I know you could easily see that, but let's imagine that you're dealing with a very large file that you don't see the answer right away, and you're looking for the zip code of that location. I'm going to try VLOOKUP. But if I'm going to use VLOOKUP, it's actually not going to work because by now, you should have noticed that VLOOKUP's direction is from left to right. If my lookup table, if my lookup column is here under column B and the values that I want to show up is under column A, it's not going to work because VLOOKUP is always going to the right. Our scenario here has to go from column B to the left column A. VLOOKUP will not work. What you need to use is INDEX and MATCH. Here's how. I will start with INDEX. Open parenthesis. And then I'm going to identify what column will I get the zip codes from. And that is column A. Comma, we now need a number that INDEX will use to get the zip code of San Jose. Now, just for the sake of example, let's say I'm, I found it. San Jose is the sixth value under column B. So if San Jose is the sixth value under column B, it's safe to say that the zip code of San Jose is also the sixth value under column A. Close, enter, and you should get 13662 because San Jose is the sixth value under column B and it's just correct to assume that under column A, the sixth value is the equivalent zip code of San Jose. However, yes, it seems right right now. However, if I'm going to change San Jose to another province, let's say I'm going to look for this, Valle Hermoso, I will not get any change in my formula or in my cell. And that is because I use the number 6. My index function is always using the sixth value. And that's why I always get 13662 regardless if I change the location that I'm supposed to look for. Now, we're going to do something about that. Instead of you doing the searching of this location, counting which instance of the cell or the range this location is, why don't you use a function whose job is to find a certain value in a certain column and give you the position of that value. I hope you remember that that is the job of the match function. Match will look for value Hermoso under column B. Match will give a number and that number is the number that index will use. So I will now answer it. Match E2 where will I match it? Here. Comma. I want an exact match. Close. So what's happening here is that match is going to look for value Hermoso. It will end up finding it. It will give the number 12. That number is the number that index will use for column A. So index will then give you the 12th value of column A. And that is 2438. 7. As you could see, match is the one that supplied the number to index. Instead of you doing this manually, searching for it on your own, you just let match do that for you. Let's try another example. In the next table, we are looking for the location of Melissa Mills. What branch is she located or is she assigned? So, I'm going to use index. I want the locations, column B. Not the zip codes, not the managers. I want the locations to be indexed. Comma. Now, I know you could easily see where Melissa Mills is right now. It's over here. It's the fifth value of column C. So, therefore, it's also correct to say that the location of Melissa Mills is the fifth cell under column B. However, as we already established, if we do something like this, when I change the value that I'm going to look for, it will stay as it is. 
because it's fixed to that position number 5. If I'm looking for another manager, it will not change. So therefore, instead of you doing the finding of Dan Everett under column C, I will have match do it for me. Match E5, Dan Everett, where? What column will I match it under? Is it here? No. Is it here? No. It's here, column C. I will match E5, Dan Everett, under column C. I want an exact match. Close, close, enter, and you should have location Valencia, which seems correct. If I'm going to look for another manager, there, Maria Fisher is from Negros Oriental. I got it correct. So instead of you giving it a fixed number, you're letting match give that number to index. Now, I told you in the previous videos, in the most recent videos before this, I told you that index and match has the capacity to replace VLOOKUP. Why? Let's look at the next sample. I am looking for the location of this zip code 42128. Can VLOOKUP do it? VLOOKUP E8, where do I look it up? Here, column A, yeah, looks correct, looks possible. I'm, I need the location. So E8, look it up A, I want locations B. How many columns? 2, comma 0. The location of 42128 is Libacao. I'm going to double check. There it is. 42128 Libacao. Double click to get the rest. 19804 Madala. There it is. 19804. So it seems correct because VLOOKUP can manage this. Your data is from left going to the right. But can index and match do it? Let's see. Index. I'm going to index column B. I want the locations. What number do I need? Well, instead of you counting it on your own, just let match do it for you. Hey, match, look for this under column A and tell me what position that is. And then index will take that number resulting to the same answer, Libacao. Double click and you get the very same answer as what we look up did. What I wanted to show here is that index and match can also do a search from left to right, just like VLOOKUP. But VLOOKUP cannot do the other way around. It's always, VLOOKUP is always left to right. While index and match can do left to right, it can also do right to left. So in essence, it's correct to assume that when it comes to capabilities, there's more that index and match can do. Let's try another one. Index the managers, match the zip code under column A. Match will give a number. It will give the number to index, which will tell you who is in that position. Double click to get the rest. I hope that is clear how these two functions work together. Index gives the column, match gives the number by searching for a certain value. And there you go. It's now like a lookup that can look in any direction, left to right or right to left. See you in the next lesson.